Now we've done our tee marks, we can now select our pitches to begin our pitch preparation for the season. And we're going to select for this demonstration pitch number one. And what we've done, we've used the importance of the tee marks, as you can see, to string out and outline the edges of the pitch to be cut. Now, for this, we want to select a pitch mower with a minimum of 8 to 10 cutting blades. This is essential. And we're going to start off with a height of cut between 7 and 8 mil. Using the string lines, as a guide, Dan is making the first cuts down either side of the square to start to outline it. If you haven't got string lines, you could always use a stump to guide you, but it's always best to get a nice, accurate straight line. It shows pride in the job. And now we've completed our first cut, and you'll have noticed that Dan has come up and down the same cut, and that's because we mustn't have stripes in a cricket pitch. The next stage, we have to thin out the density of these grasses. And this must come out. We, we, we need to thin this out and lift up the grasses for the next cut to expose a little bit of the soil in between. Now this is essential because too much density will give too much emphasis to the bowler. Now we achieve this by use of scarifying equipment. Now if your club or yourself are very fortunate to have high-tech kit like this, a mechanical scarifier, that's absolutely perfect. Using a scarifying reel such as that um, will do a lot of the hard work of the job, but it's essential that you don't adjust it to disturb the surface of the soil of the pitch. This is a very good implement. It's just a pedestrian scarifier to lift and pull out the debris in the grasses for a finer cut, or if you're really strapped for cash, there's nothing like a good old fashioned springbok rake, and you can achieve that it's hard work, but you, you'll see that I'm lifting up uh, a lot of the debris, pulling it out, ready for the next cut. That's excellent. What you'll notice is that Dan has finished his scarification round about where the pop increase would be four foot in front of the bowl increase. Um, there's no point in scarifying and thinning out the area where the bowler lands. We might as well assist the wear and tear at that point. Now that the grasses are lifted up and any prone lateral growth is lifted up and arisings, Dan is now mowing them up clean for the second cut. He's then going to use the mechanical scarifier to complete the process, but this will be ongoing. We'll continue this process until we're absolutely satisfied we've got about the right amount of density out of the pitch. OK, that process is finished. We're happy now with the amount of grass that we've taken out of the density. We've started to see a little bit of the soil between the grasses, but remember not to take out too much at first because once the grasses have come out, you can't put them back again. So this process now has to be taken further because if in dry weather if there's been no rain around, we need to soften this pitch up for the next essential stage of the heavy roller. That will give us the firm, hard surface uh, for match day. So we need to start this process of pitch preparation for first class or better class of cricket between 14 to 10 days ideally, but for recreational cricket we present about five days before the start of the game. So the next step is to prodigiously water to soften. And now we have the water that's soaked in nicely. Uh, we're almost at the point of bringing the roller on, but just to make sure we're right, neither too wet nor too dry, a rule of thumb. If we can get a nice dish-shaped impression in the soil to see if it's in a nice plasticine state without leaving too much of a stain, that's just right. Also, use of my probe, I'm going nicely through, that's perfect, it's going nicely through the profile. And now's the time to go over the surface and examine if there's any holes or depression now's the chance you can just gently get underneath it lift it up firm it down that's it and now we're ready to bring the roller on